Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we found out what the Z06 gas guzzler tax is, and it was much different than predicted. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I want to get into this video with you right away because I know all of you have been waiting to hear this information about the gas guzzler tax on the brand new 2023 C8 Z06. But real quick before we get into it, thank you guys so much. My thumbs up squad has been absolutely amazing. Thank you for already smashing that thumbs up button. I hugely appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me today. You don't know how much that that means to me that you took time out of your day to hit that play button and join me. Also, if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss a single one of these types of videos, help me out by smashing that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, let's get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, I am on the Minage and Corvette forum and we are going to scroll down here and see that it says Z06 gas guzzler amount is out. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It shows here that they had one source, but they held off. Then they got a second source and they went ahead and gave us the information. And here it is, 2,600 for the excluding aero package and 3,000 for including aero package. So obviously if you have a little bit more drag with that Z07 aero package, they're going to charge you $400 more in gas guzzler tax. Let me know what you guys think about that. But here's the thing. This is a lot less than that spreadsheet said at $5,000. And I saw some other people out there on the forum and on comments on my videos and other videos saying that they thought it was gonna be four to $5,000. You guys know that I've always said around 24, hundred to three thousand and so i was a little bit off but there you go that just proves that a lot of the time that i come up with numbers i'm very very accurate with my numbers so again it's awesome that we have this information now and just to show you real quick that this is the arrow package i'm going to go over to the spreadsheet and if we come on down here you see tof and tog and i'll go ahead and zoom in on those so here you go tof is the carbon arrow package which is the carbon flash painted and then TOG is the carbon aero package with the visible carbon fiber one is 8400 one is 10495 so there are about a $2,000 difference there. Now there was one more thing that I wanted to go over with you and that is a new article on the Minage and Corvette forum talking about the Z06 being cheaper and faster than these 10 exotics. And so I wanted to go ahead and scroll down here and show you exactly which cars they are speaking of. And this is a pretty cool little chart that they've put up here. I'm not sure why it got cut off here but for some reason it did. But this is the spreadsheet that someone put out with the Audi R8, V10, V10 Performance, with Quattro, the 23 BMW M8 Competition, the 23 Ferrari 296 GTP, the Ford GT, the 2022, the 23 Lambo Huracan Evo, the 22 McLaren GT, the 22 Mercedes AMG GTC, and the 22 Porsche 911 Turbo S. Like I said, it got cut off on the right side here. I'm not sure why, but as you can see, all of these cars are priced way above, way above the Z06. And if you look at the power, and then you look at the zero to 60 times, there's not a single car up there that is a 2.6 except for the Z06. Now top speed is yet to be determined, but I would be willing to bet that a non-Z07 Z06 with almost no arrow on it, period, is gonna hit 212 to 215. I just believe that it will. It is very aerodynamic. As you know, the Stingray hit 194 with only 495 horsepower. This car has 175 more horsepower than that. And so 
I really truly believe that we're gonna see some very high top speeds out of this new Z06. And as you see on this, the highest top speed out there is the Ford GT hitting 216 miles per hour, but it does zero to 60 in three seconds. So pretty impressive stuff. I've already done a video similar to this, but I just wanted to show you guys what someone had come up with comparing all of these cars. If you look at the engines, if you look at the horsepower, if you look at the highest RPM that these engines rev to, it's pretty sweet that the C8 Z06 has the highest red line out of all these cars. To me, that is amazing. And then you look at the maximum torque at 6,300 and it's right in line with almost all of these cars here. So very, very cool stuff. Most of these cars have dual clutches and of course the Z06 has a dual clutch. So let me know what you guys think about that. I also wanted to go over this real briefly with you. And again, as always, I'll link all of this down in the description below, but there is a design company called Sigala that has come out with a new wing for your Stingray. Does this wing look familiar to you ladies and gentlemen? Well, it should because it is a replica of the new Z06 wing. Check it out. They have it in two different styles. If you want just the two posts, they have that. And if you want the four posts, like the high wing, they have that as well. Now I know there's a lot of people out there like myself that have the high wing that would have to get the four posts because these holes are not gonna be filled in, obviously, if I just get the two posts. But if you have a car with no wing on it at all, no spoiler on it at all, this one is gonna be your best bet. It's gonna match the Z06 wing perfectly. So very cool stuff. They're taking orders now. I think there's a website link here. Yeah, well, there is a video that you can go watch about this. So go ahead and click on that link that I clicked on, which is right here, Sagala Designs and check all this stuff out. Like I said, I'll link every one of these articles down in the description below. I personally think this is really cool. I would definitely consider getting this wing and if Sagala sees this video and they want to sponsor the Brinka Speed channel and ship one out for my 2020 Captain America car, I will put it on there and uh, do a video for you guys and obviously uh, promote this wing all over YouTube. So ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you thought the news that I brought you was good news, especially about the gas guzzler tax being a lot less than most of you probably thought it was going to be. Smash that thumbs up button if you loved it. And I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road.